What's going on? It's your boy Carrie Too Smooth, and in today's lesson, I want to talk to you about something that's really important when it comes to R&B, and that is how to play with dynamics and feel. So today's song that we're going to learn and we're going to work out today is going to be um, Frankie Beverly and Mays' "We Are One." It's a really, really good song, but there's certain nuances to it that, that are really simple that you're playing as a guitar player. But what I want you to focus in on is how you can be more soulful in your expression of how you play. So a lot of stuff that we're really going to be doing today is going to be off of that G minor, like a lot of like G minor pentatonic. So just that, even that run. But just hearing that kind of like the play. That's really just the whole gist of the song, but like listening while you're playing along with the record to learn how to like really understand like the nuances of the ins and outs, jumping in, kind of like double dutching. Everything that we want to learn is just going to be like double dutching. Every time you play music, that's really what it's like a lot of times, unless you are the primary instrument. Like there's a lot of songs that are more guitar heavy, but when there are songs where there may not be that much guitar in it, where you're like playing a whole bunch of chords, learning how to double dutch, jump in, jump in and then jump out. So again, the song we're covering today is We Are One. Um, just, I want you to hear some of this stuff real quick before we jump in. Just a simple groove, just letting it breathe a little bit, but just understanding, just picking your spots. Just understanding those little small movements, like in that space, like the song is breathing. Like you gotta not be too busy, but just having some fun with it. Like that's really like the the movement of the song. And it, a lot of stuff that I'm doing with my pick is kind of like a hybrid thing, kind of like where I'm just doing some ghost note stuff. Understanding the value of that ghost note stuff is going to like make your playing incredible. Now we're talking about really getting to the dynamics of like grooving. Because a lot of times as a guitar player, you find yourself playing and it gets to a section in the song or in the music where you just got to groove. Where you can't be too loud, you can't be too soft, you just got to find that sweet spot and you really just got to groove in that sweet spot. This song right here by Frankie Beverly Mays, We Are One, that top section, like the, it says We Are One, I think it says 1983. That's, I'm telling you, if you practice with that and you learn those different nuances, it's going to help your playing out tremendously. It doesn't matter if you play in church, it doesn't matter if you play... R&B, secular, whatever it may be, like because there's going to be sections in the song, or if you're doing a show, where the artist will be like, break it down. And you still got a vibe, but you don't want to lose the essence of that song. Stuff like this is just, that's the stuff that's going to help you shape your playing as a guitar player. Because again, nobody really teaches you this kind of stuff. Nobody really shows you like, okay, this is the stuff you need to pay attention to. Because again, they just assume you're going to have to play full out every single time. This is the stuff right here. That's that sweet stuff when everybody's just kind of groove when they break the music down and the singer happens to be singing or whatever. Or even if you want to start your solo out like this, just really, just really smooth and methodic. You know what I'm saying? It just makes so much more to your plan. So let's let's jump into it again. <laughs> Thank you. 
And the trick of it is, is like when you're doing that kind of soulful stuff, give it to them a little bit and then let it breathe. You know, like the stuff that I'm showing you now just because it's on top of each other so you get an idea of what it feels like. But I'm doing a lot of like these same kind of like bluesy minor runs off of that A, um, that, sorry, that G minor pentatonic. <laughs> the octave of it to that guitar like if you have a strat or whatever like it's not from my, in my opinion what I'm hearing it's not the, the neck pickup so you have to be mindful too this is another thing to think about too as a guitar player when you're trying to figure out like you're covering a song or you're playing along with a song like finding the exact tone right you don't have to get a, the necessary get a flange or a chorus to put on it whatever but I'm just talking about even for your guitar it's not a neck pickup that's a little too aggressive so that, that next pickup, right, the neck and the middle, it's more of that tone, not necessarily the bridge or even the middle. Like, you can hear the difference in those tones, so just really being mindful of like trying to ensure that you get the right tone is also important too. If you hear, like what I talked about a while back, or even the last week's lesson was about phrasing. So he's picking out the melody. You can hear the guitar player playing the melody of what Frankie was singing. That's the kind of stuff of phrasing. Understand when you get ready to take a solo. to know whatever this song is in B flat but what they're doing is they're, they're vibing on off of the six so just because again I like to try to relate everything to what I always talk about again so we're vibing off of the six so the six in this particular key will be that G minor so when they're going to the four or if that E flat major seven to that D minor seven so that like that Jimi Hendrix chord that E 
dime. It's one of those songs that really just make you sit in the pocket. You don't have to do too much. You don't have to work too hard in this particular song. So the thing that I really want, you know, just you to remember as we go over this song, and as I'm not sorry, as we go over the song, but as we went over this song, is to understand the nuances of playing with that feel, like how to ghost note when you're picking, not to be so loud, and sometimes like understanding like the dynamics of playing very soft. But even too, when you heard the solo with the guitar player, that he was using the phrase and he was playing exactly what Frankie was singing, you know, like understanding of how to pick out your different spots it's a great song it's a great record for you to just work out with you know so that way you can kind of live in that work record and understand like the very small nuances these are things that again a lot of guitar players may not teach you about may not talk to you about because again it's one of those things that sometimes you just got on the job training but i want to give you something that's going to make you think you know as you play it's not all about being loud and trying to like over solo and overpower uh, even the music that you hear on instagram but it's just about our youtube it's a part of just like really dialing it back and understanding how to play with dynamics, how to use the ghost note stuff, and how to have that like that soulful expression, really just living off of that minor pentatonic, but playing like the soulful blues lick. And a lot of stuff that I do is I recycle the same lick with the different octaves. cool song i mean the chords are just so subtle it's just easy for you to live into that stuff so like, like i said again this this whole point of this lesson really is just about you to get you to think about some different things some things that you would normally not think about some things that may be introduced to you for the first time or if you've been doing it for a while just to re, re, bring some things back to your remembrance like the ghost note stuff playing soulfully using that minor pentatonic and just re like we're using the same licks but in different octaves and then understanding like the nuances of playing like subtly, like sometimes they're going to ask you to break it down, but how do you keep the same intensity without being so loud? How do you keep the song to feel the same kind of way without being so loud? So hopefully you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please subscribe and share with a friend. Thank you.